Welcome back. In a previous video, I showed how to run a Royal B24 volt weed whacker off of an 18 volt hyper lithium ion rigid battery, whether it be a one and a half, two amp hour, or a four amp hour. When the Royal B battery cut out on me, it got me curious whether it cut out from overcurrent or from temperature when I actually adapted the battery to fit on the drill itself. You can see it's still cut out because I haven't put it back on the charger yet. So in this video, we're gonna find out when does this Royal B battery cut out, what I believe is cutting it out, and then on top of that, how much power do these rigid batteries do on a Gen X style brushed drill like this. Okay, so I was curious. For the drills to kick out this 24 volt Ryobi, how much power are these drills drawing? What I have here is I have it wired up into my shunt. Each millivolt is one amp. This is the Agilent 30 amp current shunt. This is the 34330A. So I can do 30 amps at 15 minutes max. So let's hope I don't go over 30 or if I do it's for a very short time. So let's just do some basic on and off first. We'll go slow. We'll see that's about half an amp. And that's about one amp. Oh yeah, battery level, fully charged. Yeah, that little bit's not gonna matter. I'm just gonna try and get a general idea. So let's turn on min max and uh, you can reverse first. 19 and a half amps right there. Drop it in forward. 20.8. Almost 21 amps. Now here's the question I had. How much power do these batteries are actually putting out? So if I hold the chuck, you can see I can squeeze it up there. I'll, I'll grab the chuck here. Oh, there's 31. Oh, 47.7. And I registered over limit on the meter. Registered over limit. Most definitely over the shunt's capability. So I'm supposed to do 30 amps and that was 47. I love this shunt, but for science, let's do it. Let's, let's see where this thing actually went. Well, again, that's 16.9 amps. It's not sensitive in this mode. 20 amps, we can get the general idea. Sixty one point nine amps. All right, I do like this shunt a little too much to to keep doing this. Yeah, so when your drill gets chucked up like that, and if your bit doesn't slip or if your screw head doesn't strip, man, these drills draw a lot of power. Sixty one point nine amps. Probably would go higher too, but again, I really really like this shunt. It's a thirty amp max. I don't want to blow it. Let me just test it and make sure it's still working now, after that. Because it's not like I can just go in and fix it, it's it's completely potted. There's no way in. Yep, still working, okay. I'm happy with that. So where is this battery cutting off at? We know we're not gonna go over 30 because this battery will cut off way before then. So let me reset this. Twenty-eight amps. Now this battery's not gonna cut off on me, seriously. Nope, it cut off. 
cut. Not only did it cut, it cut under 28. So I think it's an overheating thing. Putting out too much power. I mean, it's capable of putting out that power. It's just after a few pulls on the trigger, it seems to overheat and MOSFET cuts it off. Take that away. Give me this. We'll just show you that it cut off. Yeah, I'm not measuring any. It is putting out that very, very small 16, 17 milliamps or millivolts. These can do up to 60 amps. Whether it can do higher than 60 amps, I think it probably can. Should have tried measuring the current directly from the battery. Going with the clamp. This one does up to a, a thousand amps on the clamp. I was so used to using the shunt. I didn't have this. This is a recent purchase. That might be a better way of checking because I know it does in rush. Fifty-five point nine. Is that nine? Yeah. Fifty-six in rush there. All right, let's measure what it's actually doing when I hold that truck then. Let's do min max. <clears throat> 71. Man, those batteries do kick out. Okay. The drill actually did give on me, so the batteries are kicking out when it gets to a certain one, but it resets fast. It doesn't stay off until you put it on the charger like the Ryobi. So it does kick out. Somewhere about 70. That's a lot of power. Total 71.9, let's just call it 72. 72, pulling the chuck down before the battery kicks out for a momentary delay before you have to actually release the trigger and then pull it back in again to get that current flowing again. Much higher than I thought. Much higher than I expected. Probably would go higher too, but again, I really, really like this shunt. What voltage? That's a good question. Where are we at on this pack? According to that, still four bars, but I, re I really want to know where I am voltage wise. 20.002. That's a lot of power. That's gotta be inrush current. 1,400 watts, that can't be right. We saw high 60s on this, and I totally trust this Angela shunt. I've tested this. And I've completely trust this. Been one of the best clamps I ever bought. Just not good for low current application. And for low current application, this one has been just absolutely amazing. This is the uh, six thousand count version, and it's 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 just spot on. And we saw sixty something on this, and we saw over seventy on this. Even at sixty something, it's still twelve hundred watts. Twelve hundred watts coming out of this eighteen volt. 90% charged rigid battery. Okay, so now we know that, at least I believe, this is cutting out from temperature and the MOSFET cutting out and I have to put it back on the charger to get power back to it again. This does a ridiculous amount of power out, at least in rush or temporary until the battery cuts and resets, but it has a quick reset. You don't have to put the battery back on the charger like you do the older Royal V 24 volt ones. And what do we see? 1200 to 1400 watts out of this thing. That is just unbelievable. The over limit reading, it would have had to have been above 550 amps for that to read over limit in the millivolt range on this. So I believe that was a false positive. But it was definitely an interesting video at that. As always, be safe, keep on tinkering, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.